what's up guys welcome back um yeah i think you already have seen the new uh dynamist uh, archetype it's a new machine uh pendulum based archetype from a uh, bosch i believe yeah breakers of shadow so one of the new sets that's coming out currently we have uh five different dynamist monsters or these yeah dynamist cards revealed three monsters one spell one tanky and one artifact sanctum for the archetype dynamist rush i believe the name is they combine very well with desk bots as you will see in the video here also with dual Lauren and so on so let's take a quick look at the cards first and then a few example duels so first we have rex so all of them are water based water monsters level five and uh, i think two of them have a scale of six and one of them currently has a scale of three so you can set up a pendulum scale with both uh yeah i think it's uh um, yeah, either Rex or uh, Brachion, they have a scale of 6, and uh, Ceratops has a scale of 3. Uh, anyway, first we have Rex. Rex can attack two times if you tribute another uh, Dynamist monster. And uh, yeah, the other effect is uh, same. You can tribute one uh, Dynamist monster you control to send one card from your opponent, either on his side of the field or from his hand back to the deck. And then we have Ceratops. Ceratops can be special summoned from your hand if you uh, control, or at least, yeah, if all monsters you control are Dynamist monsters, you can special summon your Ceratops from your hand. And then we have Brachion. Brachion is also a, a powerful monster that you can special summon from your hand if uh, the strongest monster your opponent controls or at least yeah if your opponent controls the strongest monster so the monster with the highest attack you can special summon your brachion so again boosting up a possible rank 5 exceed place then you have the tanky for dynamist with which is uh, yeah charge charge can be activated to search out one of your dynamist monsters and very important if uh, one of your dynamist monsters is uh, sent phase up to the extra deck either from your uh, pendulum scale or from your side of the field, you can just get it back, thanks to your charge. And then we have the Sanctum, which is Dynamist Rush. Rush uh, special summons one of your Dynamist monsters from the deck. And uh, I think, yeah, the monster is unaffected by card effects. Yeah, indeed. The only downside is that the monster is destroyed during the end phase. Now, uh, as I said before, they combine very well with uh, the desk bots. You know, they are level 1 tuner. Um, the level 3 that can special summon any desk bot from the deck. And then we have desk bot number 5. Number 5 is an excellent card. You can just special summon it with your level 3 desk bot monster from the deck. And when desk bot 5 is special summoned, it has a mystical space typhoon effect. So you can pop one of your opponent's back rows. And on top of that, it's of course a level 5. So you can just... Oh yeah exceed summon for a possible rank 5 exceed play and on top of this very important is do lauren do lauren um can be special summoned with your level 1 tuner your level 1 death bot and one of your dynamist level 5s and do lauren can reuse your dynamist charge your tanky and so that's it's uh, quite a, a nice combination and then last but not least that new solemn card you know solemn notice uh, uh yeah the cost of 1500 life points to either just negate one monster effect from the opponent and destroy the monster or when a monster or monsters would be special summoned you can just pay 1500 life points to negate all of them so that's quite good <laughs> definitely one of the, the better cards here in bosch it's it's definitely going to be a secret rare money Guards. Um, anyway, a few example duels. Alright, uh, game number one. My point is playing Shadals. Uh, I think I get to start Upstart Goblin into Instant Fusion. Uh, normal summon number three. Number three, special summon one of, yeah, one of your death bots from the deck, which is number five. Thanks to machine duplication, you know that duplication is so good here with death bots. Immediately providing uh, the three level fives on my side of the field. Go for infinity, sadly, with Nova. You can only special summon one infinity during my turn. So, uh, yeah, the other option I had was to go for zero Lancer. Anyway, I tried to go for, um, yeah, at least deal a lot of damage, but uh, I think I wasn't able to go for a game either way. Um, he has finished Shane to block the attack of Cyberdrag Infinity. No, no deal, no big reason. Uh, he has not a big of deal. Special summon my Phantom Knight, which is the generic rank 3 Scrap Dragon. Pop his Fiendish Shane and pop my spell and go for double infinity. That's quite good. Uh, right, and also have that Solemn Notice in my uh, back row so I can negate any possible special summon from the opponent or any monster effect activated. So the BLS is useless and I think I also had one of my infinities to use the effect. So... 
easy GG right here. Next duel, again, just showcasing the possible plays, showcasing the combos the deck can do. Again, that's what number three, again, duplication, yeah, it's, it's just uh, too ridiculous. And uh, yeah, number five turns into Harpy's Feather Duster, so use uh, number five's effect three times, pop hit my opponent's back row just too easy now clear the way for a free cyber dragon infinity um yeah deal some nice damage here then set both notice and the dynamist rush rush is the artifact sanctum he reveals the farm girl uh, try to activate number three's effect boost the yeah boost his attack up to 1500 so he's forced to tribute his farm girl for his uh, forerunner but again solemn notice is just too good negate the effect and destroy the monster and yeah dynamist are just it's, it's just too easy to otk with dynamist with rex double attack yeah currently the effect of multiple dynamist monsters are still glitched you cannot special summon yeah them from the hand so currently they are a bit uh, glitched on Yu-Gi-Oh pro again props to Yu-Gi-Oh hack for uh yeah coding and scripting these cards so quickly um he tries to affect this mermelo effect try to search one of his uh, trapples obviously going to solemn notice that one he tries to attack special summon my rex from the deck and uh, during the end phase it's destroyed and thanks to charge it will be sent yeah i can just take it back from my extra deck go for the lauren i think his back row is mirror force so take back my three monsters and get an extra search with a dynamist charge very cool and yeah take, take it to mirror force okay not a big deal um yeah i'm going to get a lot of damage here thanks to his farm girl into forerunner and yeah he also has a field spell so he's in a, yeah, he's in a very good position although i'm going to make a nice comeback here so top deck into deathbot number three normal summon it special summon Deathbot number five to pop his back row clear the way for a free pendulum summon he chains his trap all okay all fine i can set up my pendulum scale and just special summon it again use the effect to pop his field spell and use that Deathbot number one in my grave the tuner special summon it on my side of the field first use Deathbot number three's effect to boost the attack up again clear some uh, at least yeah, get some space on my side of the field due to infinity go for shark fortress let my uh, Deathbot number one attack two times and if you didn't have honest i would have had the game of course they always have honest so he still uh yeah, he still survives and uh, I can pop my own pendulum scale. That's I think it's a uh, effect of uh, Ceratops. Yeah, uh, my opponent just yeah, tried to uh, pop my uh, continuous spell so I can just pop Ceratops get it back to the field spell and now yeah, doesn't really matter. He pays himself to death, but uh, he didn't have uh, an option I think with infinity on board so yeah, it's, uh, yeah, the combination with Dynamist and Deathbots is definitely an interesting one um, and certainly going to play test them more adjust yeah adjust my build and uh, when it's done i'm definitely going to post it up uh, yeah guys if you have any opinions about the build you can always leave that down below that new solemn notice card is definitely going to be a very good card uh, when it's released over here in the tcg guys that's it thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video leave them signing out peace